you know, anyways. Quick with the shifts. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a 2022 Dodge Durango GT. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Lurch Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with the Durango. Check out the inventory in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the review. So under the hood, we have a Nachi aspirated 3.6 liter V6. It goes through an eight-speed automatic transmission. It's good for 18 around town and then 25 on the highway from a fuel economy standpoint. Power outputs, 295 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque, and that's all she wrote. Let's go over the front end of this Durango. So first off, you can see all of the venting here on the hood. Looks absolutely fantastic, especially in contrast to the Destroyer Gray on this particular Durango GT. We've got the LED accent lights that are around the projector bulbs here. And then notice we got the performance front fascia that's standard on the Durango now. And then fog lights down below and notice a little kind of like teardrop type deal. And then you can see here with the venting right there. And yeah, overall, I think it's great looking from a front end perspective. And also here's a black one. Look at that. Coming on the side here, we've got two 65 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And notice how they've gone for a dark metallic gray on the wheel coloration. This one has the black top package, so everything's kind of like darker uh, in color on it. Anyways, there's the front suspension, as you can see. And then notice we've got like the tiniest fender flare, but at least it's body painted. Blacked out mirrors as part of the black top package. And then here is your full side view on the Durango, which I think looks great. So here's our key fob. We have the unlock, the lock, the remote start, and then the opening here for the hatch. And before we get into that stuff, I want to talk about payload towing. 1,200 pounds of payload and about 6,200 pounds of towing capacity with the V6 Durango. Here's our little charging ports in the back. And then you can see we've got part of the third row folded down. So you can see how much space you have with the row folded up. And then with the row folded down, quite spacious when you have it folded down. And we've got some more storage underneath. That little section right there. Uh, and other than that, not much else happening. So we're just gonna press the uh, close button. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're closed. Now finishing things up here with the rear, we've got the gigantic Durango LED light bar with the Dodge logo here in the center. Now it's got the GT badge and the Durango badge all blacked out. We've got the bezel that covers the receiver hitch, parking sensors here on the bottom. And then notice here with the dual outlet exhaust tips, make it look a little bit sportier. And that's it. Here's the door panel in the rear. I love this trim piece that goes across. And then you see the padding, the stitching down below. And quick look at the door handle itself. I love the coloration on the handle, it looks great. One of the speakers for the sound system. And then here are the seats that come with the GT. So you can see nice padding, got the stitching all throughout. Not quite as nice as we have in like the RT, for example, but these are still really solid seats. Popping in, you got a grab handle, it helps out. Legroom. And then notice here with the vents down below, we've got the climate controls here at the top, and then you got all the vents here on the ceiling set up. Uh, as for the third row, you can fit kids back there. You can fit adults back there in a pinch. Wouldn't recommend keeping them back there for a while unless you want to torture them. I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's just that like every SUV in the segment has, you know, cramped room for the third row for adults. Now let's head to the front. Here's the door panel at the front. You can see again with the trim down below and the padding and stitching down below that. All of our window controls. And then notice the mirror adjustments. And then again, look the look of the door handle. Here's the mirrors to do a blind spot monitoring. Then one of the speakers for the sound system. And then here's a quick look at the front seat. So you can see again with all of the padding and then down below with the adjustments. Pedal layout down below. And then also got our light control here with the fog lights. And then notice here a little bit of padding and stitching to kind of bring things up. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Let's pop in. Now here is the steering wheel. You can see padding here at the top and at the bottom, and then it's perforated here on the side so you get a little bit of a better grip. Paddle shifters here on the back for the eight-speed automatic. Controls for the center stack. Voice command, phone controls, cruise control as well. There are radio controls there under the paddle shifters in the back of the steering wheel, and also turn signal windshield wiper stock. <laughs> there you go. 
Now here is a quick look at the center stack. So you notice you got analog gauges on either side and then you do have this little screen here in the center which you can scroll through a few different menus like fuel economy for example, you can see right there with that menu. Um, but you know, overall nothing too crazy happening uh, with the appearance on that. Uh, definitely, you know, easy to use. I'll just leave it to be that point. Uh, now there is a sport mode which will pop on here. Notice it shows the Durango with a little race flag on it. So that's another cool thing. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, we pop it into reverse. We got a backup camera with trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel. Resolution's pretty solid on the backup camera. Also, parking sensors. Now going over the rest of the infotainment system, notice we have dual zone climate. We've got heated seats for the front and a heated steering wheel. You can see the controls right there. And of course, we gotta do the headrest fold every single time we get in a Durango. Gotta smack the backs of the heads of the imaginary kids. Um, other than that, it's great from a response time perspective. It's pretty self-explanatory. I think it looks nice, uh, especially with like the overall integration here into the dash and so you go. Down below, we've got analog controls here for the heated seats, heated steering wheel, dual zone climate system, radio controls, and just notice how much nicer these look compared to the old Durango controls. Definitely spruced up quite a bit. Parking sensors, stability control, hazard lights. This is for eco mode off, so that's like normal mode. And then that's sport mode. And then this is eco mode. Auto stop start. And then you can see here with the USBs, and then we've got this storage space right there. Shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission. Again, got the manual shift function. We've got our cup holders here. Center console set up. Look at that. I'm magical. Anyways, stitching and padding there, and then down below. And then also notice with the glove box, and then you can see here with the padding on the dash, and then more trim right there that looks pretty nice. And then finishing things here at the top, we have a black headliner, basically. Nothing too crazy happening up here. Sunglass holder, I guess, should go over that, and that's all. Also, almost forgot to mention, this has the tow package, so trailer brake controls. There you go. So here's our window sticker for this GT blacktop. There's the base price before any options, and lots of stuff is standard. Notice cloth bucket seats with shift insert is standard. Um, so blacktop package adds the cool looking exterior stuff. Notice this one has the leather trim bucket seats, which is also an option on the GT now, captain chairs, all that fun stuff. Anyways, total MSRP $49,665. Let's see how she drives. visibility before you set off there's your visibility of the hood and you can see here with both mirrors I do a blind spot rest of the rear and let's set off so setting off here in the GT Durango let's uh, talk about how this thing drives first off I'll do a lot of comparisons to the uh, Hemi because uh, I'm sure there's some people wondering you know should you jump up to the RT from a ride quality perspective this definitely drives smoother uh, than the RT. Uh, you, you can definitely perceive a ride quality difference uh, between both of them. The RT is a little bit firmer, whereas this is a little bit softer. Seat comfort's really good too, which is a big plus. I'm gonna pop into sport mode. We ain't messing around today, folks. Manual mode as well. And steering's really good. The thing I love about the Durango is it drives sporty. A lot of third row SUVs don't really drive sporty. They just feel, um, it's the best word for it. Plush, which is not bad. This still feels plush, but like it handles pretty good and there's some steering feel and it just, it's a more of a raw experience. I don't like using that term because like, I mean, ultimately this is a, you know, relatively heavy third row SUV that's, uh, you know, a family car, but you know, anyways. Quick with the shifts, wow. Peppy, peppy, peppy. Um, so yeah, compared to the Hemi, not nearly as quick, but it gets the job done. For most around town driving and everything, this is gonna feel more than adequate. So yeah, take that for it is. Wow, it's jumpy off the line when you're in sport mode. Yeah, it's solid from an acceleration perspective. So yeah, let's kind of sum things up here at the GT. I know it's a little bit of a shorter drive, but uh, I got a lot of videos to film today and I'm already running behind. So. 
Exterior wise, I love the look of the GT with the black top package. It just looks so sporty and cool. And you know, if I had kids, I'd want something that looks this cool and sporty because it's like, oh man, I can't have the fun car anymore. I gotta, I gotta, you know, grow up a little bit and I gotta have the adult car. I want something that looks cool like this. Interior wise, um, with the leather upgrades, uh, upgraded seats, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it over the cloth seats. So I think it's worth spending the money. Uh, from a driving perspective, the GT's smooth, it's soft, it's comfortable, and it still drives sporty. It's not quite as sporty as the RT from an acceleration perspective or from a driving dynamics perspective, but it's pretty close. And so I think this is a great middle ground if you want a cool looking third row SUV that still gets good fuel economy and you don't think you're, you don't really feel like you need the extra power from the Hemi. It's, it, it's great. Uh, it checks, it checks all the boxes and I think this is going to meet the needs for, you know, like, 85% of people. That's gonna sum things up for a video on this 2022 Dodge Durango GT. Black top again, a huge shout out. And thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy for giving me some time with the Durango. Check out their intro in the description down below. I'll see you guys.